Hi, I'm Anna, Anna Popov, and I am the principal at uh, IBP, Interiors by Popov. We are a boutique uh, interior design firm. Um, we specialize in interior architecture and interior design. We are located in Bellevue, Bellevue, Washington. The way I got into interior design, I was actually finishing my business degree and I was living in Tel Aviv at the time. And it was um, just at that time, I was um, started being interested in um, human-centric kind of uh, human-centered uh, um, physical environment. Uh, this is where I became kind of acutely aware of the effect that a physical environment has on a person in a kind of a daily life. I started noticing how like work becomes easier when the light is correctly positioned in the room, um, how the walls are, um, when it's a correct color and a correct texture, how that has an effect on your productivity. Um, so the architecture and interior design um, has kind of an immense impact on one's physical and mental and spiritual kind of well-being. And this particular, that particular time, there is a re realization of, of that kind of deeply inspired and led me to pursue a career in the field of interior design. I refuse to settle into complacency and um, I am utterly convinced that a concept of good enough in design should be a punish punishable offense. I swear to God, there is nothing worse than having an attitude in a design industry when you are designing a high-end custom design solutions, having an attitude of being good enough is really a problematic one. <laughs> so uh, everyone in the forum, every designer that uh, works uh, for me and uh, including uh, yours truly, um, we um, always, and I mean like always, bring our design to the level of epic. And we tell that to our clients when we present a design concept we get it to a point of being epic and only then i am satisfied our approach to design is very different from conventional kind of widespread methodology and our process is structured um, is very structured and very systematic we design homes as support systems pretty much like engineers and um, we start with functional requirements. We um, specialize in smart storage solutions, durable materials and inner spatial uh, connections are developed at first. This is how every project starts, nothing else. We eliminate anything else and concentrate to like the crux of the functionality and the necessities. As this happens, the aesthetic decisions start to seep through kind of naturally and this is how the aesthetics become an integral part of the overall design concept. This is about mixing eras uh, in the, um, you know, uh, um, like um, the design styles that merge the old and the new. The uh, last few years um, have brought to light that um, you have to pick a theme and run with it. In fact, like the opposite is true. And uh, the loot is the mixing and layering and merging of the eras. The um, Oh, origins and the modern design practices with classic design elements kind of all mixed together that's where the interest lies so um 
I am saying like pull out that old Nana's vase or a chair and bring it in and maybe that will influence the direction for the entire room. A very prominent issue that we are seeing right now, um, recently in the last few months, are damages. Um, there has been an increased amount of damaged products and materials that we receive reports upon. Um, damages, like we pretty much receive emails about damaged goods and materials almost every day. And I'm not sure exactly what contributes to this problem, uh, maybe insufficient packaging. There was a point of time when uh, packed pricing of uh, packing materials skyrocketed. Um, there was this freezing situation in uh, Texas um, <clears throat> at one point or another, and that uh, some of the production of uh, packing materials was actually affected in there. So um, I'm not sure whether it's insufficient packaging or um, extended shipping timelines increasing kind of the risk of damage um, <clears throat> because the goods are kind of extending are extended period of time in transit. Uh, I don't know, but damaged goods right now, I think on our end is a um, most serious issue we are facing. The problem with that is time and effort. It's just, uh, you know, you, you put together timelines for completion of projects and something like that happens and everything kind of goes away. Like you can't run with an installation, the final installation, or if it's a construction related material like tile, for example, comes in and the pallet is completely broken, that affects your whole timeline. By nature of our business, we choose a lot of goods. We procure um, furniture, art, um, styling pieces, materials, uh, equipment for our clients. And we educate our clients to be deliberate about what you bring into your home. It's that simple to be deliberate, to be discriminative about what is it that you bring to your home. That does not need, mean that you have to embrace minimalism or um, clean counters or life of perfection, but rather um, concentrating on possession. Whatever you buy, whatever you do bring into your house should be important, meaningful and lasting. Um, choose well and make it last means getting less and an increased quality. The fact that I lived in four countries for over 10 years in each. So for I lived in four countries in for extended for a long period of time uh, is um, surprising for most people and uh, I actually love it. I uh, think that gets, uh, um, that's one of the things that gives me the perspective, the different perspective and the uh, ability to um, see this multi-faceted, multi-dimensional world. Um, so I think that's a surprising fact about me. Uh, I speak three languages fluently and understand a few <laughs> as well. I was born in a former USSR. Right now, where I was born right now, it's a separate country. It's uh, Moldova. Uh, it's a country of Moldova. And um, my family, I was born to a Jewish, traditional Jewish family. And um, my family left. Uh, Moldova in 1989, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and we moved to Israel. So I lived in Israel and um, 
uh, I uh, finished my university in Israel and I got married in Israel and had my child in Israel. And then after that, we moved to Canada. We lived in Toronto for many, many years. It was lovely. I love Canada. <laughs> I am Canadian. I'm Israeli and Canadian. <laughs> and um, after Canada, we moved to um, US. We And now we live in Redmond, so Seattle area. Thank you.